uh, call to order the regular meeting of West Valley City Council. Uh, we note that we have all council members present. We will begin with an opening ceremony by Council Member Jake Fittisima. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, for our opening ceremony tonight, uh, we've invited Abbot Hajanet from the Wat Lao Budalam Temple uh, here in West Valley City uh, to offer an invocation for us. I'll turn it over to you now. ภาษาบาลีและก่อนจะให้พรเป็นภาษาบาลีนี่อาตมาอยากจะขอกล่าวคติพจน์อวดหนึ่งที่พระพุทธเจ้าได้สอนไว้ว่ามโนบุคคัง
And before we begin giving blessing, uh, come on uh, similar to meditation, breathe in, breathe out, and as smoothly as possible. <coughs> Tayanto Bodhiya Mule Sagaya Nang Nandi Watano Ewang Dawang Visayo Ho Ye Sayaso Sayamang Ale Abala Sita Balang Gesi Seva Dawi Pokale Abisege Saba Pota Nang Akabato Abamotan to stay or <laughs> not much exciting left on it beyond that our minutes of March 26th to the council move for approval of the minutes of March 26 2019 second <clears throat> all in favor please say aye aye, aye. those opposed say no it passes unanimous Next, we have uh, three items to take care of uh, on our agenda. Uh, the proclamation recognizing April as Child Abuse Prevention Month. We just had a little ceremony out in front where we put in some pinwheels, which we traditionally do each year, uh, to symbolize uh, those who are suffering. And so, I'll read the proclamation, and immediately following that, we'll turn to Council Member Tom Hoon for the Employee of the Month Award. Following that, Don Christensen will do the Division of the Quarter Award. Whereas the children of West Valley are, are the future of our state's success in investing in their general welfare, safety, and livelihood are of utmost priority. And all children deserve to grow up in a safe and nurturing environment to assure they reach their full potential as they grow and develop. The protection of children and strengthening of families is of concern and, and responsibility of all West Valley citizens because the wellness of children affects our lives now and will continue to affect us in the future. Child abuse is a serious problem with 755 confirmed child victims in West Valley City last fiscal year. With each of those cases imp impacting an entire family and affecting the community as a whole. Child abuse respects no racial, <coughs> religious, socioeconomic, or geographic boundaries. All citizens of West Valley sh City should become more aware of child abuse and its prevention within their respective communities and to actively encourage and support parents to raise their children in a safe and nurturing environment. 
Preventing child abuse requires each member of the community to be attentive to the problems around them and commit to doing everything they can to help. The mayor and city council of West Valley City are united in opposition to child abuse in any manner or form all days of the year. Now therefore, the mayor and city council of West Valley City, Utah, on behalf of the city's 136,000 citizens do hereby proclaim April 2019 as Child Abuse Prevention Month in West Valley City and call upon our citizens to renew their commitment to be educated on the impact of child abuse and join in working for its prevention within our communities. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> Uh, to my young, is that I pronounce your name right? Okay, great. Uh, Co enforcement and uh, nominated by uh, Cindy Hobbs, Executive Administrative uh, Assistant. And uh, to my, why don't you stand up and uh, I will read this one uh, very, very quick, very short. Um, to my has exemplified total customer service dealing with angry citizens that have received notice that uh, their property is not in accordance to, with uh, the Western City Code can be a tough job. But he always takes uh, the time to clearly explain the excuses and never loses his cool. He keeps his tones extremely professional in even the most difficult of situations. To my also deals with a few difficult residents that feel they need to bring other people's properties into compliance and complain to, to my weekly and sometimes daily. He the patient understanding and tries to help in every way he can to my hard work and efforts has enhanced the community which is indicated by his areas in the city improving each year on the code enforcement survey conducted annually every fall. To my has had a mentor new code enforcement officers and makes each of them feel like part of the division. To my also goes also goes beyond above and beyond his regular duties and arise to work extra early to remove snow from the sidewalks and walking areas to the community preservation building. He helps make his fellow employees and citizens of West Valley City safer by doing this every snowstorm and has done it since the building opened September 14, 2009. To my is very deserving of the Employee of the Month Award for all he does. Thank you to my. Thank you so much. To my, is there someone here with you? If you want to say a few words, introduce them. Okay, are you okay? Just 
Actually, they're probably the reason he does so well. So uh, we appreciate you being here to support him. Tonight, we're also honoring our Victim Services Division for the Division of the Quarter Award. So those of you in Victim Services, would you please stand? Okay. <clears throat> they were nominated by Sharla Parrott. There have been staffing changes and a lot of people with time off lately in the Victim Services Division. Not once has anyone complained. In fact, each advocate has stepped up and taken on more responsibility with caseloads and office work. Each advocate has stayed late and come in early to help our clients and officers. Whatever task is asked of them by the detectives, attorneys, and police officers, they are ready and willing to get things done as quickly as possible. Our advocates go out of their way to get a hold of each client to make sure everyone gets the resources and services they desperately need. The advocates constantly do little things for clients that no one outside of the office will ever really see or know about till now. But these things make huge impacts for individuals. Our advocates will sneak treats to children in crisis, give a client their own winter gloves, slip a few dollars into the pocket of a client desperate for a hot meal. They truly care about each and every individual that comes into our office for services. Each and every client is treated with the utmost respect and compassion. Our advocates will exhaust every avenue when trying to find the right services and resources for each client. They try to have each client leave with a game plan that is feasible and realistic for that person to accomplish. They can have the angriest person come in and through genuine care that person will leave feeling like they have been truly listened to and that someone does care about them. Congratulations. Okay, next we go to our comment period. Uh, we do have our timer here. Uh, Jim, you well versed in that. Mr. Bell, well, or Chris Bell, maybe it's... Oh, there he is, okay. Uh, maximum five minutes, direct your comments to the mayor. Uh, it's not question and answer, just your statements. You're probably familiar with it. So, first, uh, Mr. Visak. American Council. Um, I want to thank you for what you do. 
the last few weeks, um, we all know what's been said about one particular code enforcement officer. You seem to be that one that goes way above and beyond. And, and, and that's kind of what I've been asking council, whether it's in a, a citizen's review board or something for the one or two that might not have the training and the um, so of this officer that we can you know consider doing something like this and I um, I'm going through the West Valley Citizens um, Academy and found out that our parking enforcement officers have body cameras why don't these guys I mean they've got a tough job I've started doing research on what they do and the things that these guys have to do and um, the people that they confront and stuff like that I think they should have body cameras. I know the cameras aren't that expensive. It's the retention of what's on the cameras is what's expensive. It's something you guys might want to consider. Um, you guys are talking about budgets and stuff like that coming up. It's kind of a good time to maybe look at something like that. Um, and in our um, the West Valley Citizens Police Academy last week, it was brought up. We were in our traffic one. We got to drive the cars, which was a blast. But when we, afterwards, we went and saw the accidents. There's 12 of us in the class, and two people brought up 3,100 in the trailer parks about how dangerous it was coming out of there. I did point out that Chief had just done a presentation to you guys about that, and there wasn't that many incidences that they were able to find. So if I, and I told them, I said, let the citizens know they need to report and let, you know, so you guys can do a review on this area. Um, and I know you guys are sent it out to study about the trailer parks and not allowing people to park in. I hope that that keeps proceeding on because it is a need. And so um, that's what I have today. So thank you. Thank you, Chris Bell. battery or something. There it goes. Uh, I want to thank you for allowing me to come up and speak um, in front of you tonight. Um, I want to thank you for recognizing this month as Child Abuse Prevention Month and for what you did out front, like planting the pinwheels. I appreciate that. That's a a part of our community that has a hard time speaking for themselves and knowing who to turn to and making that a priority that we are aware of them. I want to thank you for that. I want to bring up an issue that I think the, would be good for our city. Recently in this last legislative session, HB 148 vehicle idling amendments was passed and has been signed by Governor Herbert. Also voting for that were all four members of the legislature that live within West Valley City, Senator Karen Maine, Senator Daniel Thatcher, Representative Mike Winder, former mayor, and Representative Craig Hall. I think it would be prudent for our city to look into passing some anti-idling anti ordinance now that it's been made easier to actually enforce such ordinances. Some of the things that were said last week and in previous weeks about code enforcement I found to be disturbing, especially in reference to code enforcement officer Jill Robinson. I think some of the people who were just up here speaking last week said some things that were very horrible and that is not the view of the community at large. I want you to know that. I want to, I would like the city also to maybe recognize what our wonderful police department did yesterday with that fire at that apartment building. People are alive today because of what they did yesterday morning and they deserve our respect and our appreciation. And I would like to see, like I don't know how these uh, employee of the month awards go, but I mean, I've got a list of 
six officers that were listed in articles that went, saw that happen, drove a car through a squad car through a fence and right up over a bush to help a gentleman escape a burning building. I don't know if it's proper for citizens to nominate someone for employee of the month, but those members of the police department are, I think they should be recognized for the service that they've done. Along the lines with what I said about anti-idling, helping our city be a cleaner, better city, I think it would be prudent also if we were able to be a leader in looking at doing something about single-use plastics. I know other cities in the state have looked at doing this. Some of them have implemented ordinances. Some of them are doing studies, multiple month studies. I would like to see West Valley City join the list of cities in Utah that is taking the lead on this effort. Recently in the news, there was a whale that washed ashore in Italy. It was a pregnant sperm whale. She had died because she had 49 pounds of plastic that they found in her stomach. Everything that we're using and throwing in the trash is ending up in the oceans. It's killing our planet. I'd like to second what was said about having video recorders with our code enforcement officers. They are doing a service for our city. It is for their protection as well as the protection of our citizens so that we know what is happening. So that if we have a review board, we actually have something other than what this person said and what this person said. And uh, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Wanted to make comments in our public comment period? Seeing no one else, then we'll come back. Uh, Wayne, anything that you want to add? No, sir. Good. Council members, anything? Just one note, Mayor. Uh, under Mayor Winder, we did pass a city idling ordinance about eight years ago. So we've now that we can enforce it, it'll be a little easier. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see then. Uh, next on our agenda is the public hearing. Uh, this is regarding uh, reopening our fiscal year 2018-2019 budget. Uh, this will consider Ordinance 19-09. Uh, these are reflecting changes in our budget. Uh, most of these are items that we have previously approved, and now we have to actually adjust our budget. We will open the budget as we do essentially quarterly. Uh, there are also some grants that were provided uh, that we did not have before. And so these are changes to our budget, and although some of them look large, they are items that we've discussed before and are familiar with. Uh, so there's not too much there of an unusual nature, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, so that's the introduction. If there's uh, anyone here, why we're going to open public comment on this issue. Is there anyone here to speak to these changes to our budget? this quarter. Seeing no one, we will close public comment and we'll bring it back to the council. That's pretty typical, just so you're aware. <laughs> Mayor, I'd like to note that uh, when these things come up on our agenda, they're not just being seen tonight for the first time. We've had them for a week and studied them in a previous meeting. Actually had them for about 10 days, studied them in a previous meeting. Uh, but with that, I'd like to move for approval of Ordinance 1909. Second. Properly before us. Uh, and as a note, although we officially reviewed that uh, list last week, many of the items on the list have come to the Council over the last several months to be individually reviewed and voted upon. So uh, this is just the official way of doing this uh, to our budget. They were approved as items before, so received a lot of review by the council. Seeing no further comments, to our city recorder for the vote.
Council Member Fitzgerald Manu? Aye. Councilman Link? Yes. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Nordell? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Next, we go to uh, resolutions. We have number 19 37. This is an interlocal cooperative agreement between our city and the county for certain funds that were approved. It's uh, called TRCC funds, Tourism, Recreation, Culture, and Convention. And these are for the Cultural Celebration Center. Uh, the amount is $500. This is the method the county uses to transfer certain funds to the city. That is the issue before us. Uh, some of it will go to operating costs. Mayor, I think we missed that slightly. It's 500,000. Yeah. Oh, what did that say? 500,000. 500,000, okay. And then, uh, what's a few zeros here and there, and a few numbers. Uh, and so, but the balance will go for current and new programming costs. Then uh, this money needs to be spent by October of this year. And uh, so that's in general what it's for. Uh, we were fortunate to get those funds this year. We go back and apply the, for those funds on a regular basis. Uh, they're available to many cities and organizations within Salt Lake County. Those are funds that are collected from various sources for purposes, but ultimately citizens and or per people who use those services. I think there's some transient room tax in there and so forth that are funding those. So these go to various different projects, primarily related to culture. We don't have too many for convention and things like that. With that introduction then to the council. Mayor, I move to approve resolution 19-37. Second. Seeing no further comments, to our city recorder for the roll call vote. Councilman Norfelt? Yes. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Malang? Yes. Councilman Petit Simanu? Aye. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Next we have resolution 19-38, professional services agreement between the city and a company by the name of CMT Engineering Laboratories. This is for uh, professional testing and inspection services. Uh, the uh, Our public works and uh, like do some internal testing, but some of it requires us to go outside. This is for $76,633. For example, soils, field testing, concrete, epoxy dials, masonry, asphalt, concrete paving, structural seal, project management. These items are included in there. Uh, they have expertise and we've used them before, and so we will be using them again. That's the introduction to it, to the council. Move for approval of resolution 19-38. Second. Property before us, seeing no further comments to our city recorder for the vote. Councilman Fiti Aye. Councilwoman Link? Yes. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Northfelt? Yes. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Next we have resolution 19-39. This is for one of our ongoing issues. Uh, this one is at 2578 South Beakley Circle, which is at 7090 West, for an easement purchase agreement in the amount of $6,700 and a temporary construction easement. This property actually belongs to Salt Lake Community College, but it's one of a number along that lane, that circle, etc., that we have been working on as we look to improve the street along there. With that introduction, then, to the council. Move for approval of resolution 19-39. Second. 
properly before us. Seeing no further comments to our city recorder. Councilman Nordfeld? Yes. Councilman Christensen? Yes. Councilman Hume? Aye. Councilman Bueller? Aye. Councilman Link? Yes. Councilman Batisamanu? Aye. And Mayor Bigelow? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. That concludes our regular meeting agenda. We do have two other brief meetings following this. And so we will close this meeting just with a motion. Motion to adjourn. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The regular city council meeting is adjourned. I call to order the uh, regular meeting of so the redevelopment stay. agency to know that we had an opening ceremony uh, and that all council members and board members are present. Uh, first item of business is uh, the approval of minutes from January 8th, 2019. Mr. Chairman, move for approval of the January 8th, 2019 minutes. The second. About to leave before us. All in favor of approving the minutes. You say aye. Aye. And opposed of same. The minutes have passed. Um, next order of business uh, is a report uh, from our chief executive officer. And I'll turn it over to Mr. Pyle. I don't have any report tonight, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving on to a public hearing. Uh, here to accept public input regarding the reopening of the fiscal year 2018 to 2019 budget. Was city manager for any special notes or anything before opening? Sure, yes, thank you, sir. There's really only one item on the budget opening for this evening, and that's for the purchase of the America First property, the America First Credit Union property that's right here located at City Hall and in the Fairborn area. We're purchasing that from America First for the purchase price of $850,000, and that'll be acquired out of the RDA fund balance. Okay. Uh, at this point, then, uh, the microphone is open for a public hearing. Is anyone here to speak to this uh, resolution 19-01? Seeing none, we will close the public uh, hearing portion and return to the council for discussion on resolution 19-01. Mr. Chair, I would move for approval of resolution 19-01. Second. Properly before us. Any discussion? We'll turn it to our recorder for the vote. Ms. Blank? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Aye. Mr. Hume? Aye. Mr. Bigelow? Aye. Mr. Christensen? Yes. Mr. Norfolk? Yes. And Chairman Petitsamano? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. With no further business, uh, open for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Have a second. Second. Do we need a second? No. Okay. Second. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. Uh, aye. We are adjourned. Uh, we call to order municipal building authority meeting tonight. Uh, opening ceremony is uh, by uh, council member uh, Jay uh, earlier, and uh, we uh, have a. Uh, all members, uh, council members are here tonight, and uh, we have uh, a pool of minutes. We have two minutes here, the one on uh, January 8th, that's an annual meeting, and also January 15th is a special meeting, so that will turn over to the council member. Move for approval of the minutes of January 8th and January 15th, 2019. Second. So we have the motion and we have a, a second there as uh, in favor of this uh, motion, please say aye. 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 So this uh, motion passes unanimously. Uh, go to Victor uh, Piles, anything you want to say tonight? No, sir, thank no. you. We have one item tonight, it's the public hearing tonight. And uh, we can open the public uh, comment for the uh, Fiscal year 2018 and 19 purchase. So I will, uh, anyone wants to speak uh, for the item, uh, please to come forward to speak for the uh, fiscal year 2018 and 19 purchase. 
no one, so I close the public comment. And I will turn it back to the council member for motion or action. Mr. Chair, I move for approval of resolution 1901. Okay, we have a motion and we have a second. We'll turn over to the CV recorder for the, the vote. Mr. Fitisamanu? Aye. Ms. Lang? Yes. Mr. Bueller? Aye. Mr. Bigelow? Aye. Mr. Christensen? Yes. Mr. Northfelt? Yes. And Chairman Hume? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. And one last uh, motion. Move to adjourn. So in uh, favor of that motion, please say aye. Aye. So we adjourn.